All right, let's go to uh, the other item on our agenda before we go into new business, which is the construction audit. Mr. Wolf. Well, is there a resolution for board books? Uh, later, later. later. In the business. It's in here. Okay, Mr. Welch. I gave everyone paper tonight. Uh, but I gave you the 19 pages of paper rather than the 10,000 pages that this document represents. Yeah. And basically, I just sort of want to focus on the first three pages of the 18 pages. We'll wait till Dan gets there. Thanks. On page one of 18, um, this starts out with the James McHugh Construction Company. And throughout the, the, the four years, there were 40 checks payable to them. So if you look right above the first yellow link, it says 82. That's the number of pages that is attached to the paid bills for check number 831136. And when functional, you would click on that link and that would bring up all the documentation that the district has to pay that amount of money. And if we just go down that column to page 3 of 18, that check was 79,720. And in particular, only McHugh was paid on that check. And that happens for the first three checks. You'll see that none of the other, well, the first two checks. On page two of 18 in the third column under the yellow link, you'll see there was a $19,920 paid to that vendor. And so just, again? I'm sorry, Mike. On page, two, the first two checks, the only money is McHugh. Of the check went to McHugh. McHugh was responsible for paying the subcontractors. So on page two of 18, in the third column under a yellow link, there's a $19,920. That particular check had money going to McHugh on page one of 18 and had an additional amount um, going to a vendor. Now, if you look on page 3 of 18, there is a number that's kind of highlighted in orange. Mm -hmm. You know, no, we no, represent no. that this is a draft at this point, and, and I think that might be a, an so. unnecessary number that we use to kind of make sure that we're, mm -hmm. we're counting stuff accurately, but that number doesn't have anything to do with anything about the project, so most likely we'll, we'll remove it. It's just an accumulation of all the numbers to its right. So the first three pages represent the first six checks. The next three pages are a bunch of other checks. The next three pages are more checks. And, and you see as you, you go along, every three pages you go along in time. And there were actually 40. So then if we just go to page 3 of 18, towards the bottom half, there's, there's the McHugh checks represent $53 million of what was spent. And then below that, you'll see there are four additional categories that are going to have yellow links. Mm -hmm. James McHugh Construction, there's these various reports. Some of them came from the CD that Laura provided to you. Some of them came from the uh, boxes of materials that the, the district has. Some of them overlap. And so those are all scanned in, in color. And the first one I have is for the May 2007 time frame. The kind of where it's kind of highlighted under the column, May, July, August, September, and it goes on. The next vendor that we're gonna have checks that are all scanned in, White and Company. They begin back in December 2005 because obviously you're paying your architecture before you're paying your construction people. So 
this being a draft, we, we, we may have to go and add on another 24 months in the big spreadsheet to post the White and Company checks. And their checks go from December 2005 to April 2010 in the materials that were taken off the uh, accounting system. Mm -hmm. Oakwood Consulting Company, Inc. Um, that next column in the blank under checks should probably say reports. Those are reports that were provided by that is our uh, owner's sure. rep company. And, and that might that probably should say checks because the reports are underneath and those checks begin in July 2006 and end in February 2010 and those are all scanned in and need to be linked up and so just the McHugh materials alone is 9,345 pages however that number is going to go up because Subsequent to the payment of the vendors, uh, waiver, of, waiver of liens are, are, are submitted to the district, and they need to be attached to the backside of the PDF that's going to be linked. So the 9,300 is going to go up. And then um, you'll have your White & Company, you'll have your uh, Oakwood Consulting Company, Inc., and you'll have the reports from the two uh, vendors. And so easily this this amount of information is going to be in excess of 10,000 pages. And I hope at the next meeting to provide you with a CD that you can uh, uh, input into your computer and, and the links will, will pop up so you can uh, hit a link and look at the backup documentation. Uh, and, that's, that, and that's sort of kind of the layout that... Uh, seemed most simple and appropriate for what Gary and I were trying to do at that time. Yes, Dan. Well, this is gargantuan. Did, did you, <laughs> could you describe a little bit how you did this? Um, was this an OCR software well, it's within your scanner? It's, it's pretty simple. You've been to my basement. I've been there. Okay. Um, that's awesome, too. That scanner. You know, at the beginning, I brought the scanner into yeah. the district office. Yeah. And simply ran the documents through the scanner. Mm -hmm. But uh, it recognized any part of it, or was it a dumb scan that you had to pick off the uh, figures from the receipts? We, we manually input the Manual figures on input. this document. We am manually input the vendors' names. Yeah. That was all just hand, hand typed in. Hand done. Wow. Well, thank you. So I'm trying to Herculean. convert this into a PDF with the links, or yeah. we may have to go with the spreadsheet, an Excel file with the links. But but that's still, I haven't had time to perfect that yet. Well, this is terrific. So if I, if I click on, let's go one of 18. A link. Uh, check number 831136. If I click on that link, that'll show all the vendors that McHugh, McHugh pay, paid? That'll be 82 pages. Okay. And if you go down that column, the only people who McHugh told us they were paying out of that money was McHugh themselves. Okay. But they have backup for why they're... Yes. Okay. And if mm. you went to page 4 of 18, and 4 of 18 in the first column, the October 31st, 2007. Yeah. Those numbers that begin with the 170,000 down, mm -hmm. down that same column on, on page five of 18, yeah. in the same column on, on towards the top of six of 18, those would be the vendors along with McHugh who received money out of that net check of that figure. Okay. Then you, once you get this finalized and cleaned up and everything else then, your goal is to put it back, put it on the website then? goal is to uh, bring it to the board to do something like that, find out if it's IT appropriate. I don't, I don't, I, I've heard we don't have space issues. I don't know exactly how many gig this would be. I'm not sure it would be double dig gig. So if I, if I understand it correctly, Mike, if once this is finalized and digitalized, if you clicked on the link, it would show you all the scan documents that went with that check. Yes, it would show you. Mm -hmm. it, it would show you 
Do you have any paid bills in your basket? Mm -hmm. Give me one with the, with the yellow. I mean the green. Just any one of the green. It would look like just any one of these checks that we approved tonight, mm -hmm. where there would be a cover sheet, and then there's a green sheet to say what account to post it to and who's submitting <coughs> it, who the vendor is, the vendor number, how much, and then the backup, backup documentation. Mm -hmm. So whatever we have on, the district has on file for that particular <coughs> page, that would be attached to the, each individual link. And then I think we would capture, you know, the upper 90% of all money by these three vendors. Yeah. Occasionally there were some very small, you know, monies expended for very small things that weren't to these three vendors that ran through the construction account, but they didn't amount to very much at all. Would change orders be in there too? So on the bottom of page three, um, there was another column, the change orders, and, and they would also be uh, assembled and linked. Yeah. And, you know, we have change orders from when I began on the board in uh, May, or May or June of 2009 forward. We need to find the ones that came before that, have those scanned in and link those in. And the change orders themselves are just like the checks to McHugh, some of them are larger in, in paper and some of them are, are lesser in paper. Any but, questions? But the, but the backup won't necessarily identify change order unless it's specified in the release. The identify, identification of the work performed, and it may say change yeah. order. But for example, McHugh was originally contracted out, I believe, to be 3.5 million. If you see what we expended to McHugh, it's a lot, lot more. So they were beneficiaries of change orders. Okay. Any other questions for Mike? So uh, were there conclusions for this? Because no. the school district spends approximately $22 million, and we certainly don't put on our website every check, face, front, and back. Is this the expectation now that, I mean, the school district spends $22 million of public dollars. Should we be putting every single check, face, picture, front, and back on our web for that? Currently, right now, we, we do list how much we spend into each vendor on our website. And should there be any question, people can ask about those. So that that is out there on the paid bills, just like the paid bills that we approved tonight. I'm not asking or, or looking towards the district at this point, putting out everything. All right, any other questions for Mike? And so the next meeting is in July? Yes. yes. Okay, I hope to have a disc with the links working to give to you. Hopefully prior to the meeting, if I can get it out to everyone or at the meeting. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Mike. Yeah.